uh, along with Jacob Markstrom from the Calgary Flames. Uh, we'll start with the Edmonton. There's so much to get to with you, but I want to start with the Edmonton series. And when that's over, you know, you begin the process of trying to get it out of your system and, and get it out of your head so you can resume a normal life. Really emotional series, we all know. Um, right after that series, like, what do you do to get to get rid of that fog, that oiler uh, fog that's around you? Yeah, obviously it's tough. It's, uh, you know, throughout the season, what we build on and the Dallas series and the confidence we have in our group and, uh, you know, obviously the back of a lot of people's head, you, you knew that, you know, this, some guys probably won't going to be here next season, but we had something really good going. And mm-hmm. it was, I think for me personally too, it, it was the first year we really coming into every game, you know, I was never really worried. It was, you know, our group was so confident that, you know, we'll beat any team any day. And mm-hmm. uh, so with, with the season we had, and then, you know, obviously ran into Edmonton, and it was uh, it was so emotional, and it was such a such a roller coaster, and uh, that's uh, yeah, it's a tough pill to swallow. Uh, but uh, you know, for me personally, I don't want to forget it completely. You want to have that sour taste in your mouth, and uh, you know, I you know I still have it in the back of my mind, and that's what gets you up in the morning and, and gets you to the gym and gets you to work a little bit harder than than last year. It, you know, I, I remember when Pittsburgh lost the Stanley Cup to Detroit in 2008. There's a there's a famous story about Crosby getting a picture of Zetterberg lifting the cup, and that summer when he worked out, he looked at it every day. And of course, Pittsburgh won the cup the the year after. And you know, the one thing Jacob is that that was the one team last year that that, that got to you, and they've got great players. And, and I wonder, is there something you think about in your workouts, or you go back and you think about and say? This is why they had success. Uh, I think for me personally, I, I think you always see, you try to break down the games. Uh, you know, the games we had during the season too, we had, uh, you know, we had one, I think two or three, one win. But then, you know, obviously the the game in the saddle dome where it was nine, five uh, and, you know, it's a win, but it's, uh, you know, that's not how you want it to be. But, and then you go the first game in the playoffs, it was nine, six. So then you 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 try to sit down and like what's going on here, because those were uh, you know the the two games I've been a part of with the the most goals and uh, you know it's the same team and I think I don't know the whole team it's obviously it's a, it's a different uh, atmosphere and it's everything is you know it's the same same league same uh, same t- amount of time in the games the same puck is on the ice but you know. Uh, when we collide with those guys, it just, you know, stuff just seemed to happen. So I think uh, the mental part of just kind of take a step back and, uh, you know, you always try to figure out what what you can do, but to uh, to really emphasize to not, not get carried away both emotionally and, you know, for me, uh, uh, I seem to have the most success when I'm just even keel and, and but, you know, it's hard. There's fights in the stands. You want to you get up and even get involved. <laughs> you want to go fight in the yeah, stands exactly. with them. That's Sometimes right. that's how you feel, but... Uh, um, yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's such a fun series during the season. And, you know, obviously the playoff wasn't that much fun, but uh, there's there's a sour taste for sure that I feel like the whole city of Calgary has. And, uh, you know, I don't think no one has forgot about it and, and we're, we're excited to get back in there. Is that, what you, is that what you think, that maybe you got a bit carried away emotionally in those series? I don't know. I Like I, I feel like throughout the whole playoff, you, you feel, feel the same obviously if i look is the preparation wasn't different and and anything like that but it, it just seemed that they you know obviously they got some bounces we got some bounces too but yeah you know i couldn't really personally you know find, find that rhythm of just you know uh where everything was just kind of coming to me and uh, you know being in the right spot the decision making you're kind of if you let one or two or three goals in you start hesitating a little bit and you can't do that and because then you get punished mm-hmm uh this off season mm-hmm. um you're watching Johnny Gaudreau leave uh Matthew Kachuk to the Florida Panthers you know two thirds of the best line in the NHL goes was there a part of you at all maybe with, during the Johnny Gaudreau situation where you said wait a minute what what what's happening to our team here does this mean we're going to take a step I mean, obviously Brad Treliving has gone out and Hubert O and Uyghur and Nazem Kadri come in but was there part of you at all that said Wait a minute! What's happening with my team here? Uh, I don't. I don't really think it was to that extent. I. Uh, I think uh, 
you know, I try to do what I could. And I, I was calling Johnny, I think, after after a week or two weeks after the season. I, I was trying to call him every day and, you know, especially terrible times of the day with the time difference. But, uh, you know, I was being a pain in his in his behind there for a bit. But uh, Do you think he left because you were yeah, calling maybe. him too much? <laughs> maybe, yeah. <laughs> no, I don't, think, I don't think so, but you never know. Uh, but, but, yeah, it's, uh, uh, you know, I, I'm excited. You know, I'm. I can. I can sit here and think we're going to be better this year. And you know, we got some great players. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's. It's more excited for me to. You know, I obviously know Huberto from from the Florida time and mm-hmm. uh, Uyghur is Was Uyghur in the San Antonio no, yeah, at that point? No, I, I never Florida? played with him there. Mm-hmm. But uh, but yeah, he's he's a great defenseman. And then the yeah. signing of Nasim Kadri uh, was great. And uh, you know, I, I want to lift Brad too. Tree. It's it's easy for him to you know kind of say what's going on. People, you know. To Chuck and Johnny wanted to leave, who uh, hundred plus uh, hundred plus goal scorer you know, points this this season, and they were they were the leading force with Lindholm for our team the entire year. But uh, you know he he had great communication with uh, you know especially us older guys on the team, and and said that we're you know we're working on stuff, and you know it's going to be good, it's going to be good. Don't worry, don't stress. So. So he he did a great job of uh, you know kind of re putting yeah. a, a great team uh, together and and I think we're gonna have a lot of success this season. You know it's it's interesting to hear you say that because one of the things I always wonder sometimes moves happen and players are blown away they don't see it coming and sometimes the moves happen and players say yeah we kind of knew this was gonna happen. So as a flame, did you uh, have an idea that when this year might be without Goudreau and Kachuk? No, not really. No, mm-hmm. I can't say I did. Obviously, you try to talk with the players, and uh, uh, but you know we knew it could happen. But I don't think I didn't see it happening. Yeah. Uh, you know, I thought it was gonna come back because you know he's he's he he's he's a Calgary Flame, and he always been a Calgary Flame. And mm-hmm. uh, but you know things change, and uh, you know for for different reason. And you know, obviously, I thought he, he wrote a, a great letter there for. Uh, uh, for the Calgary, for the people of Calgary and the, the Flames fans, and uh, you know he wanted to be close to his family. He got a newborn coming, and a lot of a lot of things involved. I know myself too, going from you know Vancouver to Cal- to Cal- Calgary as well. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know people are not going to agree, and some people are, and and but you know I wish him luck on all the games except against us. <laughs> then I then I hope he gets nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and Kachuk, so did you have any idea that maybe Matt wouldn't be back? Uh, yeah, it, it's so hard because yeah. I mean you you hear the rumors and you read and you hear people are talking about it and it was obviously a big uh, you know those two names were the big talking point you know right after the season what's yes. what's gonna happen so you can't really avoid it or or see but uh, yeah I uh, you know I just I really like how you know Tree went about it and and you know obviously it would have been nice to uh, you know obviously with the position we were. When we were so good, it's not like we could have we should have traded Goudreau. We, right. You can't do that. We're mm-hmm. we're we're really good. We were a really good hockey team, and we were having success. So you can't really trade away a big piece like that, and then he leaves for nothing. But I think you know we got cap space, and we got Kadri, and we got Huberto and Uyghur for for those two players. So mm-hmm. I think that's a, a really good trade off. It's 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 a heck of a recovery, as you said, and that's the next thing. I was gonna, like, did you have any idea? Like, did did they say like, okay, we're trading? Because sometimes these trades pop up out of nowhere. Did you have any idea that Huberto and Uyghur were coming, or did you have any idea that Kadri was coming? Yeah, uh, well, I was at a wedding, Nicholas Backstrom's wedding, and oh, yeah. yeah, I was in bed, and I my phone kept ringing, and uh, you know, it was Brad, tree living, so he was like. Huberto's a good guy, right? I was like, yeah, he's a good guy, but he's a really good player too. He's like, okay, we're working on something. So, oh, so, so then, you had uh, an idea? Yeah, I had a little idea there, but uh, but yeah, he's obviously. I think I woke up the next day after the not feeling hungover at all, but more excited about getting back to work and and, uh, and for the season. That's fantastic. You think this was this was the year that people finally noticed or recognized just how good Lindholm is? Uh, I think so because obviously I'm I'm a little bit biased. Well, I mean, uh, we're, you, we're good you friends have, yeah, and we're hanging you, out you uh, hanging out in the summers and uh, follow his uh, development. But I see him every day and uh, 
Uh, he's such a good player, uh, yeah. you know, defensive, uh, defensively and offensively. I mean, uh, uh, what what all those three guys did together, and uh, you know, you can have we can be in our zone for two minutes, and you have Lindholm going from corner to corner and standing in front of the net, and then all, all of a sudden Johnny yeah. has a breakaway, and you wonder like how is he on the far blue line right now? But mm -hmm. you know, it's a lot about the work that Lindholm did that mm -hmm. let them kind of play the way they wanted to play and kind of cheat a little bit because they knew. Uh, they knew Linda would always be behind there. So I'm looking at your defense now. You, you, like you've got a like it's really good. Like it's interesting because as you said, you guys just lost a couple of hundred point players. But if this league is one in goal on defense and down the middle, like I like I look at your centers, I look at your blue line, I look at the guy in goal, and I say Calgary's built that way. So like I wonder how as as a player you look at it, do you say because. This, there's been this big debate. Are the Flames better or are they not as good? How do you see it? We're better for sure. I think so. Uh, obviously, you look at the blue line and then, uh, you know, I'm not going to sit here and talk about the players that, that left, you know. Chuck is a Panther now and uh, John is with uh, with Columbus. But uh, uh, like you said, too, looking at the centers we have, and down the middle, you need to be deep down the middle to be to be successful, and especially in the playoffs. And uh, and then uh, our defensive core is uh, you got my favorite player of all time, Chris Tanev there. So you know I'm happy he's there. And then uh, you know with everything else, you got Rasmus Anderson who had a career year last year, Noah Hannafin who's you know he was healthy pretty much all season and and played great all year. You add Uyghur to that, and then Sedoro, we had a he was super important for us. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and then we got a lot of young players, young defensemen too, that with both with uh, skill guys and you know big solid defensemen coming up from from Stockton. So it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be really fun, and and you know I'm way more excited about this year than I was last year. Mm. Looking forward to it. Um, yeah. Thanks so much for this. Yeah, no worries. Best Thank of luck you. next yeah. season. And uh, yeah, look forward to seeing you back with the Flames. Yeah, sounds good. Thanks for having me. So with, with that defense core and those centers, you got to win the Vesna this year. Yeah, for sure. That's a bank. <laughs> That's a bank.